we are forecasting the potential of a Category 4 storm, 130 miles an hour by the time we make landfall in, in Florida. Slow is never our friend. So what that means is you'll have a longer period of time where you can get some of those hurricane force winds, a longer period of time that, that you can get um, the rainfall, uh, torrential rainfall, and, and a longer period of time that you can have that onshore flow on the right-hand side of that storm. It's continuing to get live views from outboard cameras on the International Space Station looking down at Hurricane Dorian. The hurricane itself. Uh, well to the north of Puerto Rico already expected to move more westerly uh, once it hits a ridge and that's going to begin to aim it right at the eastern coast of Florida. Serious situation. All modes of the impacts from a hurricane are in play. The storm surge, the rain and the wind. A few days to get ready and the biggest thing is get the latest information. Yeah, I'm not scared. It's South Florida. We see hurricanes all the time. At this point, it's all about preparation. Everyone should have already had an idea of what they're going to do when the storm's threatening. What does that translate to? You really need to have everything done. Work on it tomorrow. You can work on it Saturday. Maybe you have Sunday morning.